James, we're looking at the price of euro dollar on the screen. It's down by about a third of 1%. And, and some people might sit here and say it's because of this speech, but I'm seeing much more weakness in the Swissy and in the Japanese yen this morning. I would probably say, actually, the euro, looking at things, is kind of in the middle of the road for the G10 space. So my question would be, does the market really buy any of this verbal intervention from the ECB so far at all? I think it buys it a bit. I, mean, I think your, your previous guest was talking about, about what's going on in the bond market. I mean, the bond yields uh, came down quite significantly on Thursday um, and Friday in the aftermath of that uh, ECB press conference, which, where clearly you know, Draghi was saying that there are no rush to basically exit policy. Yes, all right, they're going to have to taper QE next year. We know that. But um, in terms of rate hikes, he was uh, pushing those uh, very much further out. So they don't want to see the euro go stronger. But, of course, any currency... Uh, is two sides and uh, yeah, the, the strength of the euro has also been mirrored by the weakness of the dollar and really what the ECB wants is for rate expectations in the US to start to reprice. Ashish, this really interesting dynamic we've discussed earlier in the programme and, and in weeks gone by as well, where the euro is stronger but the bond market is firmer as well and we saw it in the 24 hours after the ECB. Can, can you make sense of that for me? Sure. So, I mean, look, I, I think this comes down to the fact that um, there's a different element this time around when it comes to the tightening, and that is the quantitative side of the tightening, right? And as the central banks are exiting, they want to make sure they don't they don't have to come back and start buying bonds again, and so they're, they're laying out that they're not going to hike rates at the same pace that we would have expected in the past, and and I, I think that the quantity. Um, is a much more important thing today yeah. to the central banks than the level of rates. 